something a little close to home. I read this article. I saw this article pop up and I wanted to talk and I was I was intrigued because it's not really an article or, or the title of an article that you see. Basically, it talks about how artists are also workers and they should be treated as somebody with a job. And I agree with that article. I've, I mean, I think any any artist that's watching this now would agree with that, right? Um, there's this misnomer with with artists that, uh, and and I I get this um, quite often. Is is I, I will get people getting mad at me when, when I, you know, talk about capitalism and and critique it. Uh, but I'm also looking to make a living. Well, how can you make a living and critique capitalism at the same time? Because I don't live outside capitalism. You can still be within a toxic, broken system, critique and comment about it, and and have to survive in it. You can idealize about a better world through art and still have to survive you know, the system that you're still a part of. I too have to eat. You might think because I have found a way to criticize capitalism because I know how the system it, it runs and works and what it's based off of that. I might not have to eat that just by, by the, by the pure fires of my passion alone, I sustain my body. It's this weird notion that people have that that artists go beyond regular men or you can't really be an artist unless you have a quote unquote real job. Right. It's it's this it, misnomer that I've. Uh, I faced my entire life. But the reality is that artists are part of the working class. The you, you know, um, we are we are just as much part of the working class as, as anybody else as a, as, as a, a restaurant worker or a manufacturing worker, uh, public servant, what have you. We're, we're, we're part of that same thing. The way capitalism proposes art is that it removes it from the workforce as something, you know, ethereal and, and something so different and so radical that it can't be a part of this system it's oh it's outside if you if you're if you're pursuing art as as a as, as a career choice if you're pursuing art for the sake of art itself you are outside the working class you're outside the uh, capitalism you 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 must be uh, someone that comes from a, a a a position of means and not someone that is struggling just like everybody else uh not someone that is part of that fight that's what that's what people assume. You know, oh, well, you get to work from home. Yeah, but it's still work. I mean, every single thing that you see on your screen, almost every single thing that you see on your screen, the the, the logo, the graphics, uh, any of the editing that, that you hear me do, the, 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 the clips that I find, the I mean, you guys saw me have tech issues in the middle of the stream. I don't have a tech person. I don't have a graphics person. I, I would love to be able to pay some folks to... To, to do the, well the graphics maybe not because I'm I'm a little particular about that sort of stuff but I would love to have somebody to to edit that but all of that stuff is done by me I that is the work that you do as an artist is the research the writing the 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 the, the graphics the editing the promoting all of that stuff is part of the work I would love to come from a place of means but then I wouldn't really understand what real struggle is and all the shit that I would be saying would be superfluous and it, it disingenuous. It, it wouldn't be a genuine statement. It wouldn't be, for, you know, true about where I'm coming from. The fear, I think, in looking at artists as workers, as part of the working class, is once you do, 
right? And and I don't know if society is fully ready to look at artists as part of the working class. That's the thing. I think artists also get wrapped up within the celebrity culture, which is why people look at artists as like something outside the realm of work. And sp oh my God, look at you know, is 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 there's this celebrity aspect surrounding art. Yeah, I've had so many people say like, well, you're not famous, so why do you keep doing it? Shouldn't, shouldn't you be famous by now? You've been doing comedy for 15, 16 years. You should be famous by now. No, because one, I don't give a shit about fame. I, 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 I really don't. I don't, I don't want to be famous. Uh, that sounds... Uh, I, uh... And I'm not saying I want to live in obscurity or anything. I just want to be able to make a living off of what I'm doing. Make a living off of, you know, intellectual comedy. Um, because I like it. I love doing that. I like dissecting ideas and, and you know, d having creative problem solving, that sort of stuff. Like, it, it's it's what I like doing a lot. And that's that's where the issues bump into with capitalism, right, is uh, it changes the dynamic between you and work. It means that work is no longer just something that you do in order to pay the bills. Work is something you do because you love doing it and 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 you get paid for it. And there's monetary incentives behind it uh and if you love doing it and if you're good at what you do uh, you know that means that you'll you'll have to be compensated appropriately for it that's the that's the that's part of the reason why they won't because then more people will be like wait a minute i don't need to be you know Someone in customer service that has to take shit from entitled assholes all the time. <laughs> no, you don't. You can make a living off of whatever you want to make a living off of. And that's okay. You can love your work. You can wake up every day excited about doing the, the things that you do. My, part of the thing that kept me going in the beginning of this pandemic was doing those virtual shows was writing a new show every week. Yes, I got burnt out of it because it's very daunting and you know, I I was somewhat fighting an up uphill battle with it um because by by the fall more people were starting to go back out to restaurants and things of that sort and you know, again, it it depend it very much depended on people being able to just afford the $5 on a Friday to to come and enjoy the show even though I was giving away a bunch of free tickets. And donating half of what I was making. <clears throat> because at that time I could. I didn't have as many expenses. Art art is important. Art's incredibly important. Art teaches you critical thinking. Art teaches you creative problem solving skills. That's part of the reason why they don't want uh art to be seen in this light that it's for it that it's truly a, it's something for the people because art makes you realize that you're smarter than what you've been told you are and more creative than what and and look creativity is something that spans just a notion of comedy music painting and all that sort of stuff right you need to be creative in order to solve scientific problems you need to be creative in order to solve the world's issues and see every side of the problem. You can't do that without learning critical thinking and creative problem-solving skills. And that's what they cut first. When education is in trouble, it's art that gets cut first. That point of creative problem-solving and critical thinking is just severed. Because it's dangerous. Because if people start thinking that way, then we might be able to fix some of this shit. We might realize how terrible capitalism really is and that we need to back away from the system. We might realize how to organize properly, how to fight a system properly, how to learn about it. We might develop more intellectually. And that's scary because a... A complacent, you know, less than intelligent populace is what helps oligarchs retain their power. 
And the reason why they don't like artists is because all uh, artists almost always will end up challenging the status quo and the position of power. But even then, art ends up getting co-opted by 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 corporate interests, right? Look at look at John Oliver and and Trevor Noah, Bill Maher, all these people, like these comedians that have been co-opted by uh, by by corporatism and and championing for the Democratic Party, and and that's really what they are. They're they're comedians hired by a political agenda to put to put that forward, and there is creativity involved in that, but it's creativity for the oligarchs right like so they they champion the need for divide they're not trying to bring people together they're not trying to encourage people to create something new and different to progress humanity forward i i i don't see that those i think those are the people that are like looking to become rich and they'll go to whoever can help them achieve that goal of becoming a rich person. Um, most people that are in the arts, you know, I I, I don't see them trying to become a, a, a super rich all the time. Uh, I just want to make enough money to pay my bills, put food on my table, and continue creating art, continue making stuff. Um, that's that's really and and you know it's it's a it's a um labor of time because it takes time and effort to do all this stuff right uh so if i did have to go to um a different place for work or or even if i'm working remotely and i have to dedicate my time to to that thing that means that there's less time that i would be able to dedicate to this and i've addressed this in this channel before like I said, art helps you expand your intellect because it's it helps you see things differently. You you want to know how if if we if we valued art as as work and if we valued art for what it was, even even monetarily, if we valued art, it would expand intellect because it would give people by adding that financial incentive to it, somehow for a lot of people it legitimizes it because there's there's financial backing behind it, right? If if let's say my sustaining memberships uh, I was making, you know, two thousand dollars a month. That's a number that's being thrown out there right now. Let's say I was making two thousand dollars a month. People will go, "Wow, this guy's making two thousand dollars a month. He must be really good." And what he's saying is is probably the shit. And they would follow it, and they would they would give what I'm saying more gravity. If you're attached to a particular network, like Comedy Central, for example, right? Because you're attached to this corporate network that's worth hundreds and billions of dollars that gives you some credence that gives you some weight so what you say he well he must be he's getting look at all this money backing him up right then when you start listening to people it it could expand your intellect so if if people like myself and Lee Camp and George Carlin and 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 uh, uh Bill Hicks and um you, you know all, Jimmy Dore and Ron Placone, all these people were were given fin the, the their due, their, the finances that they were due. Like if we were paid as much as Trevor Noah, then our voices would probably be taken more legitimately by a lot more people, which means those perspectives would be seen and understood by a lot more people. But the perspectives that we present are the antithesis to the status quo, hence why it the status quo needs to degrade us and not consider us to be part of the working class, to consider us to be outside the working class, and then say, see, see what they're saying. They're just trying to make money off of you, which, you know, doesn't end up being true. And again, it wraps that whole argument back up into artists can't make money. If you're trying to make money as an artist, you're a sellout. It's like, I'm because if you're trying to make any money at all, you're trying to get rich and you're trying to get famous and you're trying to, it, and, and that's hardly the truth. What art truly can be about is a bunch of individuals coming together to to create things to better humanity. And by the way, art is everywhere. Everything is related to art, right? It's not just uh, a painting, but look at nature. I mean, nature is beautiful. Nature is, is a work of art in and of itself. Go and stare at a, a, a 
the, the barks of a tree for, for a little bit. And you'll start seeing the intricacies of it, the way that, that the barks have cracked and expanded. That's art. Look at look at the leaves. Uh, look even even when you look at like a a plant, you know that's not doing so well. The way it bends, the way it falls, and drew, that's also art. You could say intelligent if you be, if you believe in intelligent design, you could say that intelligent design has to have some art. The way we are built is is art. The way veins and muscles all work together. The intricacies of the respiratory system. How our brains function? I mean, that's art. This mixture of form and function is art. And we're surrounded by it, yet we don't count it to be a legitimate way that we can earn a living. So to deny art is to deny life itself if we're surrounded by it. Be good to your artists. That's the that's 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 the the whole point of this thing is is to be good to your artists. Treat them as part of the working class because they are. They're part of the working class. They represent. I I've said this for a while. I think stand up comedy is is um is an art form that's specifically built for the people. It's the people's art form. And the people are allowed to be intelligent. So stand up comedy is allowed to be intelligent. Art is allowed to be intelligent. It's it, it none none of none of what what artists say or do or create or anything is from like this new uh, ulterior dimension or anything. It's all from stuff we've we've all experienced and we've all seen. But again, accepting art for what it is can help you see those perspectives and expand your intellect. And that's kind of what they're trying to prevent to do. So if art is outside all of that again, and if and if you charge a cover, but you're an anti-capitalist comedian or or an anti-capitalist musician or or, or, or or gallery performer, whatever it is, then you're seen as something bad. It's like, Okay, well, do you do you like those thoughts? Do you feel like there's value to them? Then then why not add that monetary value to them? Why deny that monetary value? It has never made any sense to me. Support your artists. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this content, uh, please make sure that you hit the like button hit the share button, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel, whether it's on Rockfin, YouTube, or Facebook. Especially Facebook and YouTube, they often uncensor pe uh, un unsubscribe people and they censor this content. So if you want to keep up to date, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that bell button so you get notifications of when I'm putting up new videos and when I am going live. I usually go live uh, on uh, Fridays and on Mondays. Uh, and if you want more information about a, a bunch of the other stuff that I do, uh, whether it's my Forkful of Noodles podcast, the Taboo Table Talk interview podcast, or the Road Reflections live streams, uh, make sure you go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A dot -H -H com. There you'll find past episodes of, uh, of various shows that I, uh, that I do, as well as information about when I'll be performing live virtual comedy shows, the Forkful of Noodles live virtual comedy shows. Uh, the dates and tickets will be available directly on my website. But if you're also on financial stable ground, you can help contribute to the show financially by making a one-time donation or becoming a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets and bonus content. And go to krishmohanhaha.com slash donate to, to make any kind of financial contributions. But if you can't, it's not a necessity. Most of my stuff is available for free and for everybody to enjoy. So again, go to krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A. -H 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 -A, and I hope to see you at the next video.